Fishing is illegal in the waters of Florida's Silver Springs. Except for publicity photographs. I was finishing some underwater research at Silver Springs for marine land of the Pacific when I noticed a hook and line. On the other end of the line was one of the prettiest sights that I've ever seen, even through 10 feet of water. I decided to do a little fishing myself. Fisherman's luck that day. My underwater date and I had a picnic lunch together at one of the most beautiful spots in Silver Springs. Sue Kennedy was her name, and she was traveling with a show. She was not only beautiful, she was intelligent, too. There was one thing about her, though. She couldn't swim. I guess we just never lived it long enough in one place for me to learn. You want me to teach you? No. I'm impossible. I'll never learn to swim. I've got a psychological block. Are you afraid of the water? No. What's in it? Just the thought of bumping into a fish underwater gives me the shivers. All the swimming I've done, I've never yet been attacked. You've just been lucky. What if you'd ever come face to face with a, a shark or an octopus? I go like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been in the water with them. I, I've touched them. I have never yet been attacked. Really? Then I've just been wasting my time worrying? That's right. There's nothing in the water to be afraid of. Unless you go looking for trouble, unless you attack them or try to take their food away from them. I can't see you doing that. When do you want me to start uh, giving the swimming lessons, huh? Tomorrow. It's time I unblocked myself. Well, wait till tomorrow. Because it's one o'clock and I've got to get back to Lakeville. We're opening there tonight for a two-week stand. Two weeks, well, we can, we can accomplish a lot in that length of time. Uh, what do you do on the show? Help PK. PK? Who's PK? My father. I keep the books for him, pay the bills when we can, post for publicity shots and sell tickets. Well, you just sold one. Mm-mm. For you, there'll be a pass at the gate. I'm sure glad that it's only fish that you're afraid of. <laughs> Me too. Find the Kennedys? Oh, yeah, it's right back there in the room four in the hotel. Thank you. I know we're in trouble, PK. Now, believe me, I know it. But we'll get him back. Now, don't you worry about it. Well, you get him back, Frankie, then I'll stop worrying. 
If you don't, boy, we're out of business. The law would close us down right this minute if they knew. They won't, Dad. Now we'll find him. What do you want, mister? Hello, Mike. Oh, well, come in. Come in. Dad, this is Mike Nelson. Mike, this is my father. Hello. And that's Frank Jarnack. He's in charge of our animal compound. Mr. Jarnack? Uh, you've come at a bad time, my boy. Very bad. Mike, maybe you can help us. I don't need any help. He, he's a skin diver, Frank. He knows his way around in the water. Big deal. Won't do any harm to take him along, will it? He'll just get in the way. Not in the water. That's his territory. Well, I'll get going, Frankie, and take him with you. Caesar isn't going to wait around to be captured. Okay. I'll go get the stuff. Tell me, uh, what's this all about? Caesar got away. Caesar? Who's Caesar? Oh, a crocodile, huh? Bull alligator. Fourteen feet of prehistoric fury. A cold-blooded killer. Twelve feet. He is a killer, though. Frankie's had some close calls. How'd he get loose? He wiggled under the fence. If we don't recapture him, Dad'll lose his license. And the show. Well, you got any idea where he is now? He's in the lake, uh, in that park down by the road there. Frankie trailed him right to the shore. Now, listen, boy, if there's anything you can do to help, anything at all, I'll be mighty grateful. I don't know anything about alligators. I don't even know how to start. Mike, an alligator's no different than a shark or anything else you meet under the water. You said there wasn't any reason to be afraid. Uh, I saw that. And we spent years training that reptile. It's one of the greatest animal acts in the country. It's what brings them in. Oh, if we lose Caesar... You won't, Dad. You coming or not? I'm coming. I wasn't exactly sure why I went, but I did. We picked up Frankie's helper first. Now, let's go find him. Tom, this is Mike Nelson. He's going to lend us a hand. Good. We need all the help we can get. This is a tough gator. He ain't King Kong, for Pete's sake. He's tough enough. He got a jaw on him three foot long. That's right. Cut you in two like a meat cleaver. You want out? Now's the time. I don't want to have to leave you out there in the middle of the lake. Lay off, Frankie. Mike's a big boy. Yeah, and a big man in the water. Well, come on, if you're coming. He moves a lot faster. Uh, pretty fair-sized lake. How do you expect to find him? Easy. Gators don't like deep water. Caesar will be hiding around the roots somewhere. That's where he likes it. I'll roust him out with this, slip a rope around his jaws, and we got it made. What do you mean, roust him out with that? How will you do it? Like this. When he hears this, he'll come running. Gators got ears like a hound dog. Let's go, buddy. Here, take this in case you spot him before we do. Thanks. While Frankie and Tom tramped through the water, Sue and I followed along the shore. We weren't helping them much, but I promised Sue to go along. I was wondering what I would do if we did find the alligator.
We should have found him by now. Frankie? Yeah? We've gone practically all the way around the lake. Do you think Caesar's still in this lake? I'm beginning to wonder myself. I think he is. Oh, you do? Why? For the same reason that you thought he went in, his tracks. I didn't see any coming out. He's right. And he could have missed them. I doubt it. Take it easy, Frankie. Got Frankie to the shore. His shoulder and arm were badly ripped by the alligator's teeth. But all we could give him was first aid. You saved my life, man. I sure want to thank you. How is he, Mike? He's gonna need a couple of stitches in his shoulder, maybe his arm, too. We better get him to a hospital. There's a good hospital in Lakeville. No hospital. Take me back to the motel. The <coughs> doctor that takes care of PK, he can fix me up. You need special care, Frankie. Hospitals ask questions, they got to. If I told them about our gator escaping, it'd kill the show. PK, too, maybe. Dad's a sick man, you saw him. We'll do it Frankie's way. And you can drive back to Silver Springs and pick up your equipment. Oh. Uh -huh. Tom, come on, Tom. Be careful, be careful, I'll hold that tight. <laughs> I drove to Silver Springs to get my diving equipment and returned to the Kennedys as fast as I could. I kept asking myself, is this trip really necessary? I mean, what did I know about capturing a man-eating alligator? How you feeling, fella? Fine. Doc says my arm's gonna be okay. Uh, that's great. Mike, I, uh... I don't know how to thank you for all you've done. You know what you're gonna do. You better thank me after I do it. Well, uh, you'll do it. Frankie was telling me how you work. Boy, if you can't capture that alligator, nobody can. I'm gonna try, Mr. Kennedy, but as I told you before, I don't know anything about alligators. You're gonna have to check me out. Well, I'm your man for that, Mike. Fire away. Okay. Uh, now, most animals have a weak spot. What's the alligators? The underbelly. If you can stay out of the way of the tail long enough to get to it. A tail's murder. Yeah, I know it is on land, but what about, uh, what about on the water? Not so bad. They can't get leverage. Uh, is there anything uh, special about its jaws that I should know about? I mean, other than the fact that he might uh, bite my head off. Yeah, there is. Now, there are two sets of muscles that control the jaw. The set that closes them must be made out of steel springs or something. But the set that opens them are pretty weak. That's why you could almost say an alligator's done for if you can get a noose around his jaws. Uh, that's a good thing to know. The best way to handle a gator is to wear him down. Get him so tired there's no fight left in him. That way you can actually hold the jaws shut with your hands. Long enough at least to slip a noose on him. Now the trouble with Caesar is, it takes a long time to wear him down. Well, is there anything else that I should know about Caesar? He's a man-eater. Now most gators eat fish and small animals. But no matter what you feed Caesar, he still snaps at Tom and me. Now, he's mean. And he's smart, too. Well, where do you think that I'd be most apt to find him? Along the shores of the lake, or uh, do you think he'd be in deep water? Deep water. Because he's got a one-track mind. Along the shores where you heard him with that prod. He'll want to stay away from there. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Let's hope that he's the only one. Mike, I wish I could do it. I wish you could, too. Thanks. Best of luck. Oh, boy, you take care. I don't need that. Just a rope, huh? Well, take something. You need some protection. Well, I've got my protection. Why, you could kill him with that. Uh, it's last resort only.
Let's hope I won't need this trigger. I began to search the lake thoroughly and cautiously. Near the surface at first, then down deep. I kept thinking that I saw alligators all around me. I thought that my swimming underwater would draw him out. But after what happened to Frankie, I knew how sneaky Caesar could be. A needle in a haystack is easy to find compared to a sly alligator in a Florida lake. I couldn't see very far, especially when I was near the bottom. He could cover himself completely in the muddy bottom. He could float like a log. I not only wanted to find Caesar, I wanted to find him before he spotted me. For all I knew, he might be following me from a distance. No matter how thoroughly I searched, I could still miss him. There was no assurance that he'd stay in one place till I found him. I could have used eyes in the back of my head or a couple of assistants. I didn't see much in the lake that Caesar could feed on, except myself. I looked around the shores, under the banks. I kept circling toward the center of the lake. You've been under an awful long time. You think he's all right? 45 minutes. He's got enough air in his tank for an hour. He'll come up then, huh? Well, he'll have to, of course. Tom, look. Well, what do you know? They had to pick this lake this afternoon. Hadn't you better go call them in? No. You might scare them. And if that canoe tipped over... Suddenly, something made me look up. and I were face to face. I wasn't sure which of us was attacking the other. All I could do now was follow Frankie's advice. Avoid those huge jaws and try to tire him. But I wondered which one of us would tire first. Luckily, the water was colder than alligators like it, and Caesar was probably not as quick as usual. That tail was bad enough underwater. I knew that on the surface it could be murderous. Caesar probably never had to fight before with a man who could stay in the water longer than he could. I didn't have very much air left. When you're fighting, you use it up fast. My diving lung wasn't built for this kind of punishment. One big wallop of that tail could break it and leave me helpless. Instead of a rubber diving suit, I could have used a suit of armor. Caesar's biggest advantage was that I wanted him alive and healthy. It didn't matter to him. He'd kill me if he could.
Finally, I risked grabbing his jaws when they were closed and held onto them with all my might. around his jaws and I couldn't hold them much longer. It's yours. Anything within reason. Money, billing, number of shows a week, you write your own ticket. I don't know what he's talking about. I want you to act in the show, boy. Man against monster. No, thank you. Oh, nonsense. I think of the future you'd have with an act like that. Yeah, a very short one. <laughs> Mike, uh... no, I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm going to be busy the next couple of weeks anyway. You will, Dad. Giving swimming lessons. It's going to be a full-time job. Hi, I'm Lloyd Bridges, inviting you to join us for another action-packed story of underwater adventure one week from today. <laughs> 